Hey guys, what's up? Got another update video for you today. Don't have any uh, vinyl for this video, but I got five CDs, so that's enough for an update video for me. So, um, cool shit in here that I think you guys are gonna like. Definitely. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. This is a live um, album. This is Dissection Live in Stockholm uh, in 2004. Um, a sold out show at, I guess, Arena, or I don't, I don't know if that's spelled right or spelled wrong. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Sweden's shit. I'll just read what it says on the back of the case. A sold-out show at Aaron Arenan, Stockholm, October 30th, 2004, marked the rebirth for Sweden's notorious underground metal pioneers dissection. Really, really, really good, sh really, really good uh, live album. Great fucking set list, too. Fucking awesome. Now, um, they made some typos, though. If you see the, the track listing right here, the first track is at the fathomless depths, but that's actually like part one. Like it's that 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 track is actually like the first half of Night's Blood, and then the actual track that says Night's Blood that's the other the second part of the song. So, and then um, another song that's on here that that's not listed on the set list but it is on the actual it is on the CD is a uh, heaven's damnation it's not listed on here but it is on there so but yeah really 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 good shit i got i got this for a decent price considering i'm a huge dissection fan i couldn't pass it up there's just one little picture right there in the middle so Um, I pretty much played like the entire Storm of the Lights Bane album, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you got Night's Blood and Hallowed, where Dead Angels Lie, Retribution, Thorns of Crimson Death, and Soul Reaper. So yeah, and then some, and then they pretty much played all the all the good all the really good tracks off the somber lane so that's good too but yeah this came out in 2009 um kind of hard to find i mean so that's why when i saw it for so, for such a cheap price you know uh listed for sale within the u.s i kind of jumped on it because i was like oh, i should probably pick this up just in case i I'd never get another chance to, you know, get it for a decent price within the U.S. So, yeah, good shit, though. Um, it might be on YouTube. I don't know. You can go fucking check it out. But, yeah, good, good live album. I, I just listened to it. Um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, I just listened to it the other day. Yesterday, I think. Yeah, good shit, good shit, definitely. So, yeah, check it out. Fucking YouTube it or something. See if it's on there. But yeah, Dissection Live in Stockholm 2004 um, was recorded during the Rebirth of Dissection. So, during their Rebirth of Dissection tour. So, yeah. Alrighty. Now, um, I talked about how much I fucking love this band, so it's no surprise that you're going to see another fucking um, thing in one of my, from them in one of my videos. This is Lord Belial with the Seal of Belial. Probably my s second favorite Lord Belial album after Enter the Moonlight Gate. There's just something about this album I just I that I just really I really fucking love this album. Yeah, you know, don't mind that. It's just them trying to sell their bullshit. So, <laughs> but yeah, cool shit. Got this for a pretty good price, considering it is it is pretty hard to find. 
I mean, and I got it. I got it in in kind of like like new condition too. I mean, the CD's like flawless, so that was good. Now, I believe this was their fifth album. The album that came out after uh, Angel Grinder. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But seriously, though, I mean, I, I, I know I say it in so many of my fucking videos that I show this. That when I show this band, but if you like black metal and you have never checked out Lord Belial, you need to. I also believe that they were supposed to play Maryland Death Fest this year, but they they canceled. I don't I don't know what what the deal with that was, or they just or they broke up. I don't I don't know what happened. But yeah, um, let's see some good tracks on this album to check out. Um, Sons of Belial, Mark of the Beast, uh, Scythe of Death was another good one. Good shit. It's a really good album. Um, yeah. Lord Belial, Seal of Belial. Check this shit out if you haven't. Good, good shit. Especially, especially if you love the melodic black metal, then you would definitely like it. Oh, crap. I forgot to put this back in. Yeah, you know, just them trying to sell their trying to sell their fucking merch and shit. I don't even know how I don't even know if this is an, an original pressing or not. I'm not sure. So I don't know. It says two thousand five on here, Candlelight USA. So maybe it is an original pressing. Pretty sure. Alrighty, now, um, these next two CDs are both by the same band, um, very fucking glad to finally own some shit from the, from this band, because this band is really fucking good, um, they're pretty popular amongst modern black metal, so hopefully most of you have heard of them. This is Sargeist with Let the Devil In. This is good shit. I'm telling you, this is really fucking good shit. Um, I don't know which guy it was. It's the guy from Horna. This is the band he started. So, good, good, good shit. Um, this album came out in 2010. Yeah, 2010. Um, from what I read, many people consider this to be Sargeist's best album. It's easy to see why, because it is a damn fucking, it is a, this album is amazing. This is, this is some good shit. Um, I bought this from Hell's Headbangers, you know. Only, this is the only place I could, I could really find it, you know. So. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't fucking get this shit either, but I guess I got two booklets. Like, what the fuck? You know, like, I don't get that shit. I don't know how that happened. And it came sealed, too. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know. So, yeah, if anybody needs an extra booklet, let me know. I'll give you one of mine. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm not quite sure how that happened, but whatever. But, yeah, really, really, really good shit. You love black metal and you have not check, checked out Sargeist, you need to, you know, fucking, they're pretty much just like Horna, you know, and kind of like Satanic War Master and bands like that, you know, that's, it's pretty much what they sound like, but they're, it's really good shit. Um, let's see. Trying to remember what some of the good tracks were. Oh, my favorite track was Discovering the Enshrouded Eye. I think that's what it says. I've only listened to this album once since I've gotten it, but it was fucking really good. Um, 
Twilight Breath of Satan. That one was good. Burning Voice of Adoration. This is this is just really good shit. You know, if you're into black metal, you should find Sargeist much much enjoyable, definitely. Yeah. And I and I'm quite positive that they still have this on Hell's Headbangers. So, you know, if you really wanted to copy that bad, you shouldn't have any any problem going on there and getting one. But yeah, sorry guys, let the devil in. Good good shit. Get it if you haven't. Or give it a listen, whatever. Alrighty, now this is Sargeist's newest album. This is Feeding the Crawling Shadows. I also got this from Hell's Headbangers as well. Um, not as good as Let the Devil In, but it's still really good shit. It's, it's different too. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a lot like Let the Devil In. You know what I mean? It's your... It's your typical, you know, raw black metal, but it's I, I, I felt it was pretty different than Let the Devil In, that's for sure. Um, I'm not going to show the booklet because it's nothing special. It's just the fucking one little page that opens with the fucking lyrics. So nothing really special about that. But yeah. That's weird. Hmm. yeah like I said not as good as let the devil in in my opinion but it was still pretty good um I think my favorite song on the album was probably return of the rats um the unspoken ones but that one was pretty good too Unto the Undead Temple, that one was good. Well, you know, it's like, just, if you just have, you haven't given Sargeist to listen, go check them out, you know. Um, I do hope to get their other shit too eventually, it's just, seems like it's kind of hard to find, so. But yeah. Good shit. Sargeist Feeding the Crawling Shadows. Check it out if you haven't. Good shit. Alrighty, we got one more. Oh man, this... I've been trying to get this shit on CD for so goddamn long now, and I finally fucking got it. Um, it's a good thing this came in the mail today, otherwise I would not be making this video right now. <laughs> so, that's a good thing. This is Venom with Possessed. This is the reissue, so it's got all the fucking bonus tracks and shit. But yeah, good, good shit. Um, many people would would say that this was Venom's last good album. Um, whoa, I totally did not know it did this. That's pretty sweet. Like I said, I just got this today, so I haven't... I haven't checked everything out on it yet, so hey, it was a surprise for both of us. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. But yeah, it's just this CD is just really hard to fucking find for some reason. Like, it's weird. But then also, a lot of people also say that At War with Satan was their last good one. Some people don't even like this album. I liked it. Um. Yeah, good shit. <laughs> and I said everybody fucking everybody knows fucking Venom, so there's it's not like there's a whole lot I can fucking say about this. You know, I mean you've either you know you've either heard it or you haven't. I would say my favorite song on here was probably See Hell Child. Burn this place to the ground. 
Yeah, probably. Probably a couple of my favorite ones. But yeah, good shit. I haven't checked out any of these bonus tracks yet, because like I said, I just got it today. So, I'm going to have to check those out later. Or so. But yeah, good shit. Now, if you if you just haven't listened to Venom at all, you're missing out. You know, there's nothing nothing I can say, nothing nothing else, nothing more I can say because everybody fucking knows Venom. So, but yeah, Venom possessed. Check it out if you haven't. Alrighty, that's it for this video. Um, let's see what I got here. Hmm. To be honest, I am not sure when the next video is going to be, so it might be it might be at least another week. Who knows? It just depends on just depends on what I get, when I get it. You know? So yeah, just stay tuned like always, you know. And thanks for watching my videos, guys. I really fucking appreciate it. And thanks for everybody that's been leaving comments, you know. It's cool talking to you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.